Hi fellow dog lovers, welcome back to the channel Petastics TV. I'm Peter and today we're going to talk about pet sitting versus traditional boarding. If you're like me, your furry friends are a huge part of your family and when it comes to finding someone to care for them while you're away, you want to make sure they're in good hands. That's why today we're going to talk about the top five reasons to use a pet sitter versus traditional boarding. I'm a full-time professional pet sitter with 17 years of experience doing pet sitting in Fayetteville, North Carolina. After we go over the top five reasons, I'm going to give you a few of my own personal reasons that I've learned to experience on why I also think pet sitting always beats out boarding. Number one, personalized care. One of the biggest advantages of using a pet sitter is the personalized care your furry friend will receive. Unlike traditional boarding facilities where pets are often kept in cages or kennels, a pet sitter will come to your home and provide one-on-one -on -one attention to your pet. They will stick to your pet's routine, feed them their favorite treats, and give them plenty of love and snuggles. This individualized care can help reduce your pet's stress and anxiety while you're away, making for a happier and healthier pet. With a professional pet sitter in your home, your pet and or pets are all that matter. Number two, less exposure to illness. Traditional boarding facilities can be a breeding ground for illness as pets are often in close quarters with other animals. This can put your pet at risk for contracting diseases such as kennel cough or parasites. When you hire a pet sitter, your pet stays in the comfort of their own home away from potentially sick animals. This reduces their risk of getting sick and gives you peace of mind knowing your pet is safe and healthy at home. Oftentimes, pets that are vaccinated with kennel cough still return home from traditional boarding with kennel cough. Number three. Home security. Having a pet sitter come to your home while you're away can also provide an added layer of security. Not only will your pet receive care and attention, but your home will also be looked after. Most pet sitters free of charge can bring in the mail, water your plants, and even rotate the lights and blinds to give the appearance that someone is home. This can deter potential burglars and keep your home safe while you're on vacation or away on long trips. Number four, convenience. Using a pet sitter is also incredibly convenient for both you and your pet. You won't have to worry about dropping off or picking up your pet from a boarding facility as the sitter comes to you. This saves you time and eliminates the stress of having to transport your pet to a new environment. Plus, you can schedule visits at times that work best for you and your pet's routine, making for a seamless and hassle-free experience. Oftentimes, boarding facilities have certain days and or times where you're not able to pick up your pet, meaning you have to return home from your trip Go home, wait a few hours or even up to a day before you can bring your beloved pet back home. If you've made it this far, I'd appreciate if you do me a huge favor, throw me a bone, take your paw and hit the like and subscribe button. I make all types of dog content that you don't want to miss out on. One more thing, want to knock the kids out of bedtime? Check out my new book, Good Night Puppy, a bedtime story for kids, available now on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks to everyone who's already purchased the copy. So I know I said I was gonna give my personal tips at the very end of the video, but to make sure I'm keeping you all sharp on your paws, I'm gonna go ahead and give my personal tips now. Just a little background, again, my name is Peter and I've been a professional pet sitter since 2006. So the first thing I'm gonna recommend is that when you're using a pet sitter, you do try to make sure you're using a full-time professional pet sitter. And that is that this is this person's primary job. You don't want a side pet sitter, something from Rover or any of the other apps or people who are just looking to make side money. You want someone who's passionate it is to care for pets full time. That way, in the event something comes up, they don't choose their full time job over caring for your pets. So with that in mind, again, you always want to look for a full time professional pet sitter whose primary job it is to care for your pets. So over the years, I've personally encountered a few pets that would honestly do better in boarding facilities. This is super rare. I'd say it's one in a hundred pets, if it's even that much, but there are a few that do better. But most pets do better at home. And the reason why is because boarding facilities can really be a huge stimulus to your pet. In a boarding facility, your pet's now exposed to many other new pets, many new people, different people throughout the day, a new environment, different sounds, barking, and just so much commotion. Whereas with a pet sitter, the only thing that has to change for your pet is having that one sitter come in. They're still able to enjoy their homes, their yard, their furniture, their own special places without all of the excess. They even get to go on walks in their own neighborhood, things they're familiar with, and it really helps to calm your pet, especially once you're gone. Another great reason is personalized one-on-one -on -one communication. So me, for example, 
When I take care of a pet, as soon as I'm done, I send the owner immediately a text message that also includes pictures and just an overall synopsis of how the visit went. And that way, in real time, when the owner has a chance to check their phone, they know how they're doing, they can take a look at them, see what we did. And also the line of communication is open. They can ask questions. They can ask of me to do certain things. And we just have that direct line of communication, just me and the owner and their pets. And so in my professional opinion, my most important and the top reason that I've seen over the years is that when you use a pet sitter, you really do make a family friend. You have somebody else over time who loves your pet almost as much as you do, who looks forward to seeing your pet, you know, who sees you guys often throughout the year. And it's just great to have that one person or group of people that you know you can count on that you know care about your pet, you know this is their full-time job. And I really do watch a lot of my clients move from clients to family friends, where I'm invited to certain functions, weddings, things that happen for the dogs, things that happen in their personal life, because a lot of times, and it really will depend on how you use a pet sitter, but a lot of times it's quite frequent. And so, you know, we're talking daily or we're talking weekly or every major holiday, and you just build a great relationship with someone who in turn learns to care for you and your pet almost as much as you do. We make great relationships with our pet, our pet sitters do with our clients. Number five, peace of mind. Last but certainly not least, using a pet sitter gives you peace of mind knowing that your pet is in good hands. You can rest easy knowing that your furry friend is being cared for by a trusted professional who has your pet's, pet's best interest at heart. With regular updates and communication from the pet sitter, you can stay informed about how your pet is doing while you're away. This peace of mind allows you to fully enjoy your time away, knowing that your pet is happy, healthy, and well taken care of. And there you have it, fellow dog lovers. That was my top five reasons why a pet sitter is better than traditional boarding. Please share your experiences in the comments below, as well as if you have any questions, please be sure to ask. I'll do my best to answer. A special thanks for all the dogs for participating in the video today. These are all dogs I've personally cared for myself. Please again, remember to check out our new children's book. The link's below in the description. Hopefully you learned something new today and I hope to see you in the next video. Check out some of my other videos. They'll be on screen now, as well as reviews from some of my clients, just so you can see how people feel about a professional pet sitter such as myself. I hope you all have a awesome day. Bye and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.